This is for Year 12 Methods that comes out of the Master Class Exam Prep. It's question number 14, which is the second of the long answer questions. Okay, so we're considering a family of curves. This exponential where I have a polynomial up here, and I've got a b there. So when b equals 1, this is called L1x, and it will be e to the x cubed plus x squared plus 3x plus 1. L2 is when b equals 2, and it would be e to the x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. So we have this parameter b, which is why this subscript b is included. So find the values of b for which it has two stationary points. So I'd like to take the derivative with respect to x of lb of x, set it equal to 0, and see when I get two answers. So on my calculator, what have I got? I'm going to have e to the, and up there I've got x cubed plus bx squared plus 3x plus 1. And I'll set that equal, so I'll take its derivative with respect to x, set it equal to 0 and solve for x. And I get these two answers. Now I'll get two distinct answers if this is bigger than zero. But I won't when I don't. So I'm looking for b squared minus nine being bigger than zero. So b squared being bigger than three, nine, sorry. So I want b bigger than 3 or b less than negative 3. b is a real constant, so b could either equal either of them. So that's when I get two stationary points. What's the value of b when that exists? Well, it's got to be 1 to 1 for um, l, b inverse to exist. So obviously when there's two stationary points, it probably doesn't exist. So let's have a little look. So if I take this, when b equals, so math three given variable b equals four. And let's have a little look. And obviously it's not one to one. And negative 4 is going to give me a similar problem. And it's not 1 to 1. So b equals 3, I would suggest I'll have, when b equals 3, I'll have 1 stationary point, And it will be a point of inflection. So therefore, that's 1 to 1. And b of negative 3 will give me the same. And that's that pink one. Okay, so that's a point of inflection. So b equals plus or minus 3. What if b was in the middle? That is, if this in here was negative, maybe I won't have any stationary points at all. So how about I pick negative 2? I might clear all that. Um, b equals negative 2. Uh, no stationary points at all, so that's all one to one. So therefore, b is an element of minus three to three, all inclusive. Uh, plot, well, so now b equals four, because I've got a four there. And that's what the graph looks like. Find the equation of the tangent at x equals negative three and sketch it on the curve. Okay, then bring up my calculator. I'm now going to make that equal to 4. So that's what I'm looking for. I might, um, oh yeah, that's a nice graph for it. I might change that up to 60 like it's got there. So maximum of the y is 60. And that's exactly what I've got there. So I'd like to calculate the tan line at x equals negative 3. So calculation, line, tan line, 
x equals negative 3. And that gives me 6xe plus 19e. Y of the tan 9 equals 6x. Well, see, 6ex plus 19e. It touches there. If I get, and I pick this up and I drag and drop, it goes through just below 60, so it goes through around about there. I'll be using my ruler. Then I know that that is 19 or 0 and 19e. The new section point there is negative 3 and e. And that will be minus 19e on 6. E, negative 19 on 6. So x intercept touching point. Okay, so there's my graph. Find the area bound by the tangent line and the graph. Uh, one decimal place for my answer. Definite integrals to two decimal places. So I can do everything on calculator. Remembering I've got this. So I want this area and I want this area. So area will equal two definite integrals. The first one will go from negative 3 to something where I've got L4 of X minus Y of T DX plus the integral from something to something where I've got Y T minus L4 of X DX. So calculator time. Um, I've got the tangent drawn and the curve drawn analysis, G sol integral intersection, negative three. That's the first one. So XE come across to the next one. That's negative 1.97, one, negative 1.97, negative 1.97, negative 1.97. I'll accept that, and that gives me that area, and that area is so equals 4.47 plus. And so now I do the other one analysis, G sol integral intersection. I'll jump to the next one, accept that one, jump to the next one which is 0 0.55, yep, 0 0.55, so two decimal places, 0 0.56, and I'll accept it, and that area was, I lost it. Analysis, G sol, integral, intersection, jump across to the next one. Start again. Analysis, G sol, integral, intersection, jump across, accept, jump across, accept. 82.35418, one add them together, and I get 86.833. And I'm doing this to one decimal place, therefore 86.8 units squared. Okay.